today is going to be my May wrap up and I thought that I would try filming in my little like book corner shelf. This is a real tall shelf. I might do a bookshelf tour. Wow, what an angle, you know? <laughs> But um, yeah, let's get to my wrap up. So the first book that I read in May is Ella Minnow P by Mark Dunn. And it is a novel in letters. So basically there is this town that has um, on a plaque um, the phrase, uh, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And it's one of those sentences that has like every letter of the alphabet. Well, one day a letter falls. And so they all decide that they have banned the use of that letter. And throughout the book, more letters keep falling and you see how they communicate without those letters. And they all write letters to each other. It's very interesting, a very quick read. Um, and you're, you're mainly conversing with the same family as they deal with um, some letters being banned and it was just really really interesting I liked it a lot um, there were like a couple outdated terms I think this was written in 2000 or 2001 um, but I really enjoyed it and I thought the concept was really really interesting the next book I read was Black Noir. Now, if you're a fan of uh, The Lock Bookitian, she has a whole video discussing each short story within this. And this is basically thrillers and mysteries written by African American um, authors from like the 1800, like 1890, I think is the oldest one, um, leading up to 2010, I believe. It is amazing. I um, only knew like one or two authors. Um, but I enjoyed learning, um, learning other authors work. I, there are plenty that I want to really look up and read more of what they've written, not just the short stories in here. But this was absolutely amazing. There were some really good thrillers, some really good mysteries, and I enjoyed the, the, the history that's packed, um, into this. I'm not sure if I had... A favorite who I did like John Archer's nose I was a real big fan of that one um, there's one by Anne Petrie that I believe has to do with someone having um, schizophrenia or um, at least having some hallucinations um, it was it was very very good I highly highly recommend if you like thrillers and mysteries to get this it was absolutely amazing the next book I read, I actually do not have because I mailed it to Erica because if you have not seen that announcement, we are doing um, the traveling annotation project. So I read The Murders of Molly Southburn and I annotated it, wrote Erica some great notes, <laughs> and then I shipped it to her and um, she will then be sending me Ruby Fruit Jungle, so I'll read that in June. But The Murders of Molly Southburn was so good. It's about this girl who, um, if she bleeds, another version of her, like a clone, will appear and her and her family have to kill it before that Molly kills her. And it was terrifying. It It's a very short story and uh, I don't really want to say much because I want to save that for when Erica and I, Erica and I uh, have a, I think we're going to have a live show for a discussion for it. So. Yeah, I'm very, very, very excited for that. And the last thing I read in May was I'm Thinking of Ending Things by Ian Reed. This was really good. I was really nervous about it because I heard a lot of mixed reviews, um, but I liked it. It was very fast paced. I think I read this in like two days, um, but um, I liked it. It's basically about a girl who's going with uh, her boyfriend to visit his family. Um, and on the ride to where his parents live, it's like all farm country, like we're out in the middle of nowhere. And she just keeps thinking about how she really wants to break up with him. <laughs> but going to his family's makes it seem like they're taking the next step in their relationship. And weird, creepy things ensue as she 
is talking to her boyfriend, trying to spring up unique conversations and just things happening around. And it was very good. The ending was so good. Like things took a turn and I was like, oh, whoa. I heard some disappointing things about the movie. Um, and I remember watching the trailer and thinking that the trailer steered away from the book a lot. I mean, obviously that happens with books and movies, whatever. But um, so I'm, I'm kind of curious to watch the movie now that I read it. But yeah, that's all I read in May. It wasn't a whole lot. It was a good amount. I'm proud of myself. But it wasn't a whole lot because I was busy launching Emmy's hair care. Um, I will be having a video soon talking more um, about that whole process of creating a hair company. But um, yeah, that is it for my wrap up. Uh, let me know what you read in May. What was your favorite book in May? Ooh, if I had to pick a favorite, it was probably Black Noir and The Murders of Molly Southburn. Those were good. But let me know your favorites and let me know what you're looking forward to reading in June. Okay, 